Perseverance has finally sampled a rock that probably formed from mud at the bottom of ancient Lake Jezero, or Jezero. If Mars ever had microbial life, it could be preserved in this rock and revealed in the samples returned to Earth on this episode of Mars Guy. The Curiosity rover in Gale Crater sniffed out organic matter in samples of mudstone, which formed from the fine sediments at the bottom of the lake that was there billions of years ago. Exciting, but not proof of life. Organic matter is in every living thing on Earth, but it's also in a bunch of non-living things, like every piece of plastic you've ever used. It's also in many asteroids like Bennu that have pummeled Mars over time. The best hope for proving that organic matter on Mars came from Martian life is to return samples to labs on Earth that can analyze them in ways not possible on Mars. The ancient lake in Jezero Crater appears to have produced mudstones that are now exposed at the front of the delta in terrain dubbed the Bacon Strip, so getting samples of these rocks is a high priority. But efforts to do so have failed in two locations because those rocks crushed under pressure, as I presented in episode 61. Two samples were successfully cored from layered rocks of the delta deposit, but these are coarse sandstones. Here's a comparison with one of the much finer grained rocks that was crushed and a quarter for scale. Coarse sandstones can collect organic matter, but they aren't good at retaining it over billions of years. Mudstones are. So Perseverance was commanded to traverse to another spot for a third attempt to sample the fine grained rocks, this time at the very edge of the bacon strip. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Perseverance started with a reconnaissance of this rock using its arm-mounted camera, appropriately named Watson, part of an instrument duo that includes one named Sherlock. The resulting mosaic of images reveals a rock with some interesting features that hint at a muddy origin. There are fractures that look like mud cracks, perhaps formed during an early phase of the lake when it was more like a shallow playa lake. This would be consistent with the evidence for gypsum veins elsewhere in the Bacon Strip that I presented in episode 65. There are also strange rounded shapes that look like nodules found in some mudstones on Earth. It's notable that both nodules and gypsum veins were found in the mudstones that Curiosity explored in Gale Crater. Next up was the grinding operation, which in the previous two attempts crushed the rock. That didn't happen this time. Instead, it produced a beautiful grind spot with no fracturing. The Watson images revealed a very fine grain rock consistent with a mudstone. So it was on to the coring operation, which resulted in the first ever sample of a likely mudstone that can be returned to Earth. A second one was collected as part of the standard protocol where one sample will remain on board Perseverance, and the second will be dropped off with other twin samples in a collection known as a cache. This ensures that if Perseverance dies before it can deliver its samples to the return rocket, the two Ingenuity-class helicopters can retrieve them, as I presented in the previous episode. We'll have to wait until 2033 to see these samples on Earth, but if they contain evidence for long-dead Martian microbes, this will become the most important Mars rock ever. <laughs>